Hi guys and welcome to another Battle of the YouTube Puzzlers video. But this one is going to be a little bit different because the majority of you are actually not going to be able to join in. So we won't even have like a Google form. But it's not, you know, it's not our fault. So <laughs> bear with me, it's just, it's the puzzle. Because it's a special limited edition. Well, it's not really limited edition because you can't actually buy it. But let me show you the puzzle first. It's a thousand piece puzzle by Ravensburger and the title of this one is Anniversary Puzzle. I'm not sure how many of you actually knows this puzzle or have seen this puzzle before because it's a special edition anniversary puzzle and you can't actually buy it in the shop. So the only way to get to this puzzle is actually to get it gifted by someone who probably like works at Ravensburger or like with them or to find it in a charity shop. So this puzzle was gifted to us by Alfonso when we attended the Worlds last year and we wanted to make something special with it. That's why we decided to make like a Battle of the YouTube Puzzlers special edition with this anniversary puzzle. So if you have this puzzle at home and you wanna join in, you're more than welcome to do so. So you can just put your results in the comments. But this time we're gonna be doing it a little bit different because obviously it's a thousand piece puzzle and we are just individual people, like it's not pairs. So what we are gonna do is basically go up to three hours like we would at the competition and then pause the timer and count the pieces. So if you wanna join in, you can do the same. You can just count the pieces or if you manage to finish before three hours, obviously just put your time down. I'm actually quite happy that we decided to put like a three hour limit for this puzzle because, well, I only spent one 1,000 one piece puzzle before and it went awfully like, I've, I've been doing it for six hours and it just, oh, it, it was exhausting. I'm talking about individually though. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy that this is the case for this one, but I think in a way that I might be able to finish it before three hours because it just, I don't know, it just looks so easily dividable to me. I, I'm not sure how many open spaces they're gonna be like with the background but the colors are gonna be quite easily dividable. So if I just start with that, I think I think I should be okay. But I really, I don't know. I don't wanna have any expectations because I don't wanna be, you know, disappointed <laughs> or anything. So I'm competing against Donna Louise from For the Love of Puzzles and Vicky from Vicky Makes and Builds because we are the only ones who actually got the puzzle. So it's not like a whole team today, but I think it's gonna be quite a close race if i can call it that way because we are kind of like on the same level with donna louise and vicky and yeah i have no idea what to expect honestly i think i'm ready to tackle the puzzle now so wish me luck
Okay, so as you can see, I did not manage to finish the puzzle. This is way harder than I thought. But I'm actually quite pleased with myself because I think that I got in the rhythm of it, if that makes any sense. Also, one thing I noticed with this puzzle is if you had a really close look, you were able to see the details in the puzzle and know in which direction the pieces are turned. So that definitely helped with the assembly. And I was really happy that we decided to have a group call while I was doing the puzzle because there was points when I was just like, why are we speed running this puzzle? It's Oh god, that, you see that's one of the things where I don't know which puzzle is going to be difficult and this one just threw me off completely. But I'm quite enjoying it, like it's still an enjoyable puzzle, it's just, you know, maybe not the best puzzle to speedrun. But we are going to continue working on the puzzle to see who can finish it faster and then we are going to reveal how many pieces we had at a 3 hour mark. So I've still got some work to do because obviously, you know, it's not done yet, but I think I don't know. I don't think I've got that much left because it's coming together quite nicely so I think it should become quicker as I go. So the puzzle is finally complete and it took me another hour, 58 minutes and 53 seconds. And now it's time to reveal how many pieces I had left. Well, how many pieces I put together in three hours. So I had 578 pieces. Oh my God, I keep forgetting. 578 pieces I put in by the three hours mark, which I think it's like, I think it's good. I finished this puzzle in five hours, which is my average. I did get a bit quicker, so I would say that maybe I was a little bit slower with this puzzle than I usually am, but for some reason I really thought that it's going to be so simple, but it really wasn't. So yeah, it's just, I'm really happy that we did it over the phone call because it was just, it kept me going and it was so much fun. We would probably be faster if we didn't chat, but it just felt so good. It felt like we were back in Spain, you know, in the dining area at the hotel, getting ready for the competition, puzzling together for the first time. So I'm really looking forward to that because obviously we are going to Spain again this year. So hopefully a lot of you managed to come as well. There are still some spaces left, so make sure, you know, to join us because it's going to be so much fun. I really, really love being in Spain. So you've seen my results now and it's time to check everyone else too. But don't worry, everything is going to be like interlinked to each other. So all you have to do is just keep pressing next. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.